In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create cascading style sheets with SharePoint Designer and how to attach those to a SharePoint page. So the first step, of course, is to open the site that you'd like to edit. Once you've done that, you can go to File, New, CSS. Now this is going to create an external CSS file that you can then reference inside of your SharePoint sites. The first step here will be to create a new CSS style. For that, we're going to go to Format, New Style. It's going to bring up the New Style dialog. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is actually override some current SharePoint styles. The first one is going to be the MS Site Title. We're going to define that in the current page that we're in, since we're editing the CSS page. We're going to give it a font family of MS Gothic. We're going to set the font size to an 11 point font. We're going to set the weight to bold. And we're going to set the color to a gray. Now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and set the we're going to go ahead and set the vertical alignment to middle on this and then we're going to go ahead and click OK to apply this. Now this will override the core SharePoint CSS file where it has a definition of MS site title. This is a way to be able to override the SharePoint styles without having to edit the core CSS itself. Now we're going to go ahead and create another new style. In this case, we're going to create site title. Again, we're going to keep it with the same font family as the other. It will be an 11 point font as well. In this case, we actually want it to be a white color. We want it to have no text decoration but we do want to have vertical. And we'll click OK to set that. Now we're going to create a, another style. This one is actually MSWP title. This controls the web part title bars. In this case, we're also going to use MS Gothic. And here, we're actually going to let it inherit most of the style from the SharePoint core CSS. All we're going to change is the font family, the color of the text, and the background color. We're going to go ahead and click OK on that. And then we have one last style to create. And that's actually going to be a style to take care of all the hyperlinks created in the web parts. All we're going to override here is the color, and we're going to change the color to white. I'm going to click OK, and we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to call this gothic.css and click on Save. Now we're going to double click on the default.aspx to bring it up to edit. We can go to Format, CSS Styles, and actually attach our new spreadsheet. It's going to give us a Browse button that we can look for it. We can select gothic.cs here. We can attach it to the current page or all HTML pages. And we can choose as to whether or not to link it or import it. We're going to link this. So we'll click OK. And you can see that what's happened here is it's been applied. And our web part titles, you can see, have turned to black backgrounds with white text. This method of modifying CSS files allows you to make much more portable CSS solutions to your SharePoint customizations in cases where you can't really apply a master page.